Hey there, this is Laws. The Ultraman event has ended and I hope that every one of you has gotten all the rewards that you wanted. And as for myself, to my best capability, this is what I have. Two blue albums and two gold albums, okay? By far, this is the second best event for me after the slime event, okay? Apart from that, anything in between, I pretty much don't get anything other than exchanging material boxes so for Ultraman event this is pretty fulfilling okay two blue albums they are the selection albums so I get to choose two cards from these four options mainly accessory card we have the attack and magic attack percentage 15% for shoes damage reduction 7.5% each for cloak magic damage reduction 15% and for the armor card, physical damage reduction 15%. Okay, now for the gold album, yes, they are the selection album as well. Quite lucky for me, I would say. Um, I don't see any random, although having a random album will be good as well. I could sell the card, but giving me the selection album, which means I get to choose the card I can use also from the four options headgear, lifesteal, weapon this is for med medium and small monsters plus 25% the cloak same thing damage reduction 25% for magic and for the armor physical damage reduction 25% now as a mage these are the cards that we will be looking at the most because other classes will probably go for the size damage cut okay getting more damage is always nice especially when you can stack up more size percentage by for the mage we cannot do that so this card is pretty redundant and i will not choose that to use unless i have extra i can actually deposit same thing for the lifesteal I don't really need much of a life steal if my damage is high enough whatever life steal that I have will be pretty much sufficient but as a mage the go-to card for Ultraman would be the damage reduction for both gold and the blue right so for this video what I'm going to do over here is that to test it out on this damage reduction card are they really as good as they said to be. All right, now in the training ground, I'm gonna run two tests. One, receive physical damage. Two, receive magical damage, okay? And the bosses of choice will be Maya and Faro. So one dealing physical damage, another dealing magical damage. And we will see how much damage can I take before I die. And from there on, we will swap in the card one by one to see how effective it is. First up, Maya. I will let Maya hit me with the physical attack, okay? So from here, I'm gonna remove this protection. I'm gonna get my spirit up. And we will see how much damage can I take from here on? Let's take hit, okay. With the shoe, there's one hit, two hit shoes gone, three hit, and this is the earth attribute attack. So, without any damage reduction card, the damage is 696,000. For Faro, I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time around, I will time for the skill damage, okay. So, same thing. Summon my spirit, give you a little poke, and wait for the skill to summon. Should be about right now. And that's it. For Faro, it's a whopping 1.58 million. And now I will equip the gold damage reduction card. First, physical damage reduction, plus 25%. And then, the magic damage reduction card, plus 25%. All right, now, same routine. I will be summoning 
Maya to run the test again to see how many hits right now will I take. But if let's say I were to take again four hits before I die, we will take a look at what is the damage being received as compared to the very first uh, test. Okay. Now, summon spirit of this. Give you a little poke. And let's see. Just one, two, three, four. So, same thing. I still die with four hits. But I see that the shield could take more than two hits. Previously, with one slash, it was down with 50% or slightly more than 50% of the bar. And the second hit right now, I'm still left with a tiny bit of shield. So with 25% of physical damage reduction, the damage received has gone down to 602,000. And now for Faro, the same thing. Gotta summon my spirit. And then I will aim to take on a hit with the skill attack. Okay, so I'm gonna do a time here. Let's see, should be about now, yes. So same thing, one hit KO. However, the damage received has gone down by half a million. And now for the ultimate test. Over here, I've already slotted the blue card in. So total, I have 25 plus 15% on physical damage reduction as well as 15 plus 25% for my magic damage reduction and over here we can see that the damage reduction has come to 40% for both let's go on with the final round Maya let's go same thing here Summon the spirit and here we go. Just one hit, two, three, four. Seems like the same. Could that mean that we have reached the maximum damage reduction for Maya? And now for Faro, for the last and final test, I would think that I will still be taken away in one hit of the skill but let's see how much more damage has been reduced with 40% damage reduction right now okay spirits up give you a poke wait for the skill to summon now let's see this time the damage received has gone down even further to 934,000 now for summary after reducing my HP by 52%, I've gone down from 1 million to 837,000 HP that is reducing 163,000 HP in total. But my damage received from Maya has gone down by 94k. That's from 696 to 602. Although from 25% onwards, the damage received from Maya did not change even though I increased my physical damage reduction to 40%. Perhaps that is a sign that I've already reached the maximum damage reduction that I can go. But can I lower down even further? Maybe increasing more defense? That could help. But that is the test for the future once I got a new card. As of now, with 40% final physical damage reduction card I am able to reduce 94,000 damage for Maya but for Ferro that is a huge decrease in damage received from 1.58 million it went all the way down to 934,000 that's a total of 646k reduction in damage although I still die in one hit but the damage reduction is huge so that 40% really do a lot for me. So my conclusion is losing the 163k of HP is really really worth it. Although it really feels a pinch. But seeing the damage reduction is really really worth it. And before I end the video, 
I would like to do a quick shout out to these guys. Thank you so much for the support. If you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.